Back at school. As far as I can determine from the notebook, Rai Rai retrieved from the remains of Oyama's home, and the memo Keith brought back from the subway. Keith went to the subway? Oh, I wanted to go to the subway. But I guess Keith went to the subway, that jerk. So I guess that's technically what Keith's doing. She, uh, she's going to the other place that we don't go to, so yeah, yeah. Oyama dove very deeply into the subject. And by the way, while you two were out, I received an email from Oyama. What? Let's hear the essay. All it said was, don't get involved with the game. You invite unwanted demise. Professor Oyama is alive? It's natural to think that way. It's as if it can sense her actions. And now the memoriadums Oyama left behind. Even now he's involved with the cursed game. There's no doubt. About it. I wonder if Professor Oyama's trying to use the cursed game for his own purposes. Going by the notebook and the memo, he seemed to have an attachment to the cursed game. And I got the impression that he cared more about what he wanted to learn than he did about the people dying. He certainly was the type to immerse himself in research to the point that he became blind to what went on around him. In order to perfect his theories, Oyama transmitted himself into the cursed game. No way. But now we know we're dealing with a living person. We should know where he is. Indeed. According to the information you both retrieved, one year ago, Oyama visited a karaoke club and a hotel. In that case, karaoke club Utaya requires investigation. We might be able to find out why he wanted to examine the place. In fact, a rash of unnatural deaths occurred at the aforementioned karaoke club one year ago. Moreover, with the special power Rai Rai's eye has, he may be able to interpret the residual emotions etched into that location. That doesn't sound very reliable. I think we should check out Hotel Quent. Professor Oyama's name must still be on the hotel register, and an employee who knows what's going on there at the time is probably still around. Where will you go? So let me ask a question. Will we ever go to the subway, or in this case, the other place that we don't choose during this playthrough, or do we have to play the game twice to experience each location? I am asking the question legitimately, because I'm going to do something if we don't. If we do go to those locations later, then I won't. But I want, I'm just asking, for because I know there's a few here that know the game here, and I'm just going to ask, will we ever go to those locations if we don't do them now? You don't go to them later? All right. So, I'm going to do this, Mr. Completionist Me. I will play one of the levels right now, and then I'll go and go back to my previous save state and do the opposite levels of what we did. So, yeah, yeah, I'm a completionist like that. Well, we're going to choose the first option right now, because I guess we're following this route, and then we'll do the other one in a second. So let's go to Karaoke Club Utaya. No, we're not going to do another playthrough afterwards. I'm just going to leave my save state. I'm going to do them in unison with each other. So, yeah, yeah. Let's go to Karaoke Club Utaya. Karaoke Club Utaya, August 29th, 16 p.m. There doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. It's a nice karaoke club, I guess. I'll check out the door. Guess it's locked. Yep, it's locked, not surprised. Even though we just came from it, so... It's either closed or very, very abandoned. There's even a good old elevator here. The elevator doesn't seem to work. Oh, but I'm getting email. Let's go check that out. Email. Karaoke Club. The club seems to still be open for business. It appears they're covering up for the mysterious deaths from a year ago. If you ask about the case directly, they're likely to conceal the truth. Keep your investigation under wraps. Cancel. There we go. Save and quit. Oh, wait, no. No, not that. I guess I just press this again. Alright, it's time to explore a karaoke bar. 
what, oh what, may we want to grab? Hmm. Is somebody there? If you can only see them with your left eye, that's usually not a good sign. That's how your eye didn't go all squiggly, so maybe they're not malicious. I think I could only see that person with my left eye. Not very surprising if true, I guess. Remember to look around with your left eye from time to time. And it's starting to signify that not always your left eye will squiggle when there's something there. That's where it's having a playful time. I can't get over there though, these maracas are blocking my way. Or I guess I can, I just have to sit between the tables. I can hear someone's voice coming from the speakers. I mean, it was like Todd Na that a lot saw the painting out. I think they didn't just see it again. Like they got this game from uh, a Kurt game. <laughs> Hilarious. I guess that's where the audio is supposed to be. I couldn't hear it very well. Check around. Can we pick up the trombone? No. Ooh. Hi. Door, oh door, will you open? I kind of want to see what's behind me, but it's too late for that. What's flashing on the TV screen? Those are, in fact, some images. Alright. Looks like we have to go back eventually anyway, so I'll just look around here in the meantime. So, yeah, yeah. Let me check a little bit here. And, yeah, I... The microphone and the box. Why is the phone not turning on? Is the phone these maracas? I don't know, it's the phone on the wall. Hello, phone? They hung up. There wasn't anyone at the reception desk, though. I guess there wasn't, was there? Some of these karaoke rooms may be in much better condition than others. Let's check over to the left and right here. Another door that's just kind of swinging open and closed. Well, I'll check out a few of these rooms before then. That one's just locked. How about this one? Yeah, both of them on that side are locked, so... How about from where we came from with these two, starting with you and the other one? Uh, let's see, of course it's locked. What else would I have expected? How about this one? Oh, well that's unfortunate. I still closed this door, or opened it, depends how you look at it. Is acting up, I don't really see anything. I'll still be a bit careful. Oh, you can actually check these. I'm a little bit surprised. Well, my eye's not seeing anything, and there's a scratching coming. No. Oh, wait. Open. There's still scratching coming. Is it the vending machine? Oh. You died. Well, be careful not to check out scratching sounds from the lockers. Well, it wasn't out of nowhere, I guess you don't investigate the scratching sound from the locker there. Let's go read this note now. There's something written there. I'm going to first read this. Some Oyama guy came, uh, came, a professor from a university. He asked us about radio waves and antennas. I had no idea what he was talking about. He wanted to go up to the roof, so I let him. And then one of the senior employees yelled at me for doing that. Roof. You know, I actually remember Oya talking about this in the previous game. You 
won't be able to get any sleep with this noise. Making doors all appear and disappear. Sure, I'll go check out the source of the noise. There's also a flower out there. Having trouble sleeping? Well, that thing's making a lot of noise. I wish someone would do something about it. Well, do you do something about it, sir? You have a guitar? Soothe it to sleep. There runs a flower. This is the city of the beautiful music. Or it used to be, but ever since that flower came here, it's been so noisy that nobody visits anymore. Alright, well that's fair. Ugh, it's so noisy I can't sleep! I can't write music like this. Well, that's fair. Uh, let me go check out this. When night falls, I start hearing this unpleasant noise. I haven't been able to sell my instruments at all either. So this is the town of music, so yeah. I... Let's open this up. It's locked. Alright, well there's something that looks like it's in there, so we need the instrument to do something. Let's get around here, though. Now, I've been able to sleep a wink since that noisy flower came to town. I've requested a great scholar to investigate. He left to inspect the source, but didn't return. Sigh, so I wish someone would solve this problem already. Oh my, are you a traveler? This truly is a lovely city, but it certainly hasn't been that way lately. I apologize for being unable to show you some proper hospitality. <laughs> Alright. It's locked. Sure and fine. I'll see a stairwell up there. Because <laughs> my impression of the flower. Upon speaking to it, the flower withered. It became quiet. Looks like you'll be able to sleep now. Is that anything? No. Also, don't investigate that noise there. I'll make my way to the door then. door over there, and a door and a stairway over there. I think we're trying to get to the roots, I'm going to first try this door. It being locked does not surprise me, because I'm almost 100% sure that we're trying to make our way to the rooftop. Which means before I go upstairs, I'll also try this door. Yep! Alright, up we go. Where will the stairs lead? Even I don't fully know, from the third floor to the fourth floor. Wow, we're already pretty high up, honestly. Are karaoke bars usually this big? I don't think so. I've never been to one, though, so I guess I can't say. Maybe it's like a really popular karaoke bar, but yeah. I... That fucking got me. I was about to try the door. Alright, well, let's go through here. There goes Mr. Invisible Guy again. He's, uh, of course, in front of a door, so... Yeah. I... There's a karaoke poster. So the spirit was standing in front of that door, which means I'm going to check every other door first. They're all probably locked because the spirit was definitely standing in front of the door before it faded away. Ooh. The mission's taking her too long. There's that sound again. I guess that's supposed to be the flower in this world. This door is supposed to be open. Ah, there's prints on the TV screen. Let's go check those out. There are some normal messages wrapped in here. That's a noisy flower again. You won't be able to sleep with this noise. Even if that flower withers, it sprouts back up. It sprouts up again before you know it. It really gives me the creeps. This is the sea of beautiful music, so I just saying that makes me feel depressed somehow. I 
wonder why. Ugh, I can't sleep because it's so noisy. My ears are more sensitive than others. So we need this person to move so we can pick up the shaking object behind her. I go talk to this person. Night falls, I start hearing this unpleasant noise. I haven't been able to sell my instruments at all either. Is your back door open? There's the flower. It's locked. Oh, there's more than one this time. How invigorating. I even paid him a hefty sum of money to go investigate. Rumble, rumble. You wanna go inside? No can do, this room is off limits to customers. Scare the flower off this way so we can catch it the other way. There's also something totally up here. Let's move on down, see if we can take care of it. I missed my chance. Time to catch it. It became quiet. Looks like you'll be able to sleep now. Poor unfortunate TV screen. I'm guessing it probably stopped whatever was making the scratching sounds. That seems like a likely occurrence, so yeah. I... Oh, that door's begun to now swing open. Sure, I'll go inside. I'm sure nothing bad could happen. Oh, there's a spirit in here. Wandering spirit. And off it went. Didn't want any of the goddamn pizza. That's what a shame, really. Well, I guess we have to follow the spirit, so. Yeah, I can't pick up that tear in the seat cushion. Hip hop. I like all the TV screens are showing different images flashing by. Is there a picture of Australia up amongst those? Okay. Out! Of course, there's some handprints on that screen, so... Pass by the maracas again and move our way up to the front. Uh, da -da 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 da Ma'am? Let's see if we can learn our route. interact with this. More of those goddamn flowers you won't be able to see Gabe. This noise, I figured. I think we all figured at this point. Can sleep again tonight? I wish things would just quiet down already. There goes three flowers this time. This is the city of beautiful music. Inside, Santa makes you feel depressed somehow. Like, I need your shaky item, so... <laughs> I can't sleep because it's so noisy. My desire to write is... Probably very, very strong, I'm guessing. Go over this way, and... Uh, the flower got inside. Ah! My instruments! Let's see what we can do for her, then. It's because it's trampling all over her musical instruments there. <laughs> Off away it goes. What's inside this box? Picked up Curse Cartridge 12. I must be missing a lot of those. That's unfortunate. Obviously, we can see the last one in there, but I'm gonna talk to some of these folks first. It's locked. Alright, yeah, same message from last time. Okay, so not much going on there, which means I'll get the last flower. 
Let's go for it. And there it goes again. It became quiet. Looks like he'll be able to sleep now. Spirit left us alone, thankfully, which means we can go on to the next area. Well, let's go through here. Sure is red in here. Nice and steamy red. I didn't really get to check out the area that we came from either. Actually, this might just be a dead end, but I'm going to go over here anyways. I can hear someone's voice coming from the speakers. Because of... has changed, has it? Isn't it... ah? Curse? I wish she would die. Besides, died, but Ted for real. I couldn't hear it very well. How unfortunate. Well, there's no other doors in here, so I guess I'll leave. The door that we came from was one of these two, so I need to go back. Yeah, that's where we came from, so... Could I touch the TS thing again? No, the handprints just stay there, but we can't interact with it. I guess that makes sense. So through here... Which means we can check this door. That one's locked. There are a few doors here. I'll start with this one, go to the left, and go back to the right. Men's restroom. It's got a notice on it, but I'm guessing that means that's closed. How about the door back here? Women's restroom. Obviously open. So apparently there's a ghost in here. Should be a bit wary. Of course, I'll open up these, though. Nothing important here. Means that we just close it. There's nothing important. I'm probably gonna die by doing this, but you know what? I want to see the death scene. Thanks for this one. Yeah. Well, didn't kill us, but yeah. So they made a ghost appear. Will it still be in there if we enter again? What, is anything inside the fourth toilet stall? Nothing important here. That's what I say. The ghost disappeared. Nothing important here. Well, that all happened. What's going out? Move on here to the next. Oh. Of course she appears here. Fire alarm goes off. I'm guessing this is the door we have to go through. Yep. Sure, I'll take the stairs. What else would I really... No, say what else would I really take? To the fifth floor. Has a five, honestly. No, it's the fourth. That's actually not a but it is the fifth floor because we're on the fourth floor, so up I go. Where will I stop? Probably up here. Well, I'm ready. There's some kind of ghost here, but I don't see it immediately. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say it's in there. I stupidly tried over there. I don't even know why I did that. Woman's restroom is open. Let's go investigate a little bit closer. Anything inside the men's restroom? Nothing here. Nothing important here. 
I like how the game lets you do dumb stuff that you know is a stupid idea, but lets you do it anyway. Like open up the elevator there is obviously it goes. It looks like it's being well taken care of. Well, that's a different message at the very least. Let's cross on back over. Spooky spooks are still going. The one's restroom up here it looks like it's unactive. Yep, not surprising. Not many tested twice. That door's obviously the one that's open. Lots of nerves. Sure, I'll go forward. I'm being stalked by a ghost. She's pretty persistent. Also, this pizza. See no handprint on the TV screen. So. Oh, more audio. I can hear someone's voice coming from the speakers. Hey, what are you doing to sleep? What? He's dead. Ah, Co isn't breathing either. It says revenge. Ah. I couldn't hear it very well. I hear that one much better than the other ones previously. Sounds like they they were doing karaoke and somebody was getting revenge on them. So yeah. yeah. Oh, my TS is reacting, so I don't know. Did I get an email? I got an email. Or, nope, more game stuff. You're not tired yet. Let's check this out. Oh, hello, sir. This flower's finally disappeared. Now we'll both be able to get a good night's sleep. Oh. If we finally get our curse thing over there. This is the state of beautiful music. That felt good. It's been a while since I could say that with a smile. You. Now that those flowers are gone, I can finally play some fine music. La la la, three heroes stand and fight to save the land. I'm hoping this doesn't end this. What's that down there? I want to be useful too. I've got to become stronger. Strong enough to help Keith. either, so... Okay, good. That was only a flash. That wasn't the end of this. I was hoping because I still have things I want to explore. I'll check out the glitch in the corner once I've checked everything else out. Now that the flowers are gone, I can get a good night's sleep. But I still feel like something's making noise. I wonder if there's something wrong with my ears. Oh, that person who just passed through? I see, so that means that the professor's investigation ended up and the plants are now gone. Just as I was expecting from them. Wahaha! I wonder why the flowers suddenly disappeared. 
Besides, I think I can still hear them making noise somewhere. I wonder what the Okay, yeah, yeah, there we go. Awesome, you remember that you can run this. Let's check out the glitches on the sidelines. You can hear a faint noise. So I guess the other one's making a faint noise too. Let's follow the professor upstairs. Or downstairs. Hear ghost whispers. Uh, where even am I? It's very dark in here. That's all I can do is follow the symbol. Oh, now it's overrun again, of course. Nothing to say about the bed. <laughs> Help me, no matter how many flowers I kill, they just keep coming. Oh, and he just turned into a flower. You feel sick when you get near. This is the city of noise in cars, Francie. And another one comes and takes its place. <laughs> There's sinning the cursed sun. I've seen the cursed sun. Ah, there they go again. Why? Why won't the noise stop? It shouldn't. It shouldn't be like this. Let's see if we can get in the air. Aye, aye. That's still locked. My head, it hurts. Ah, that scholar, what has that damn scholar done? Something's blocking the door from the other side. Let's go through here. Like an invisible maze. There's a cartridge over there. Well, I can hardly even move from this location. I don't know what those cartridges do, but I want to obtain them. I have no idea how to get over there, though. Oh. Thank you. I have the item now. There's no way to sell. Basement's light? Alright, then please use the torch that's in the cupboard. Picked up faceless right leg. Well, that's normal. <laughs> There's a torch inside. Picked up torch. If you can get out of this town, please come back and help us somehow. Now I can walk like it's nothing. Pick up the cursed cartridge, pick up cursed cartridge 14. Well, what's going out? Out! On the outskirts, of course. Now that guy goes inside the good old well, which means I guess we'll follow. Something a lot 
brighter in here. There goes the fog. Ta oh! <laughs> I don't know why that scared me. Because I didn't know what was over there, and suddenly the movement caught me off guard. Not just any movement, it was just kind of odd movement. Will this door open? Yes and no. Didn't think so. Guessing it was the one with the poster over it. Thanks for watching the video! I'd very much appreciate if you take a moment to consider donating to my Patreon, which I am using to try and make this more of a livelihood, not just for missed game videos, but little games to make my own time, and to bring different types of videos to the channel. You can find the link for my Patreon in the description below, or in the video, obviously. If you'd be interested in seeing me recording gameplay videos and doing other things live, I stream quite regularly and record almost all my gameplay over a site called Hitbox TV on my channel. You can also see that in the video currently. Hope you enjoyed the video, and adieu.